So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find the whole of GCSE Maths Explained on video all for free and find some amazing revision guides. Anyway, this video is about proportions between lengths, areas and volumes. What do I mean by that? Basically, there's a special relationship between the lengths of similar objects, okay, only works between similar objects like these two cubes, and their areas, their surface areas, and their volumes, and you can kind of see very quickly from these numbers, okay? Now, let me just quickly give you an overview of what's going to happen in this video so you can appreciate how easy this topic is. Basically, this is just simply demonstrating that this uh, relationship does work, okay? And then this part of the video is just actually applying the technique. So this is the real question, okay? So that's why you can see the arrows going in very similar ways. And to make it even easier, or realize how easy this is, this visual is explaining this. So it's only really this, do you understand? So let's quickly get on with it. If you've got two similar objects, like these two cubes, um, and you can, say, work out the scale factor between the length, so this width is 1, and this width is 2, therefore the scale factor is 2, okay, then if I compare the surface areas, in this case I'm going to uh, make it really simple to understand, and I'm just going to compare the surface area of the fronts of these objects, but it still works for the whole of the surface area, if I compare the whole of the, both of the surface areas, but let me quickly work out, so I've got the, the, the the area of the front of this object is 1, the area of the front of this object is 4, the scale factor is 4. Or, I can say the scale factor is 2 squared, which equals 4. Okay, so you can see the relationship developing here. Okay, so the scale factor between length so far is 2, the scale factor between the areas is 2 squared. And then, if I work out, if I compare the volumes, the volume of this is 1 unit cubed, and the volume of this is 8 units cubed because there's uh, 4 cubes in the front, 4 cubes in the back of this object, so uh, 8 uh, tiny cubes to make this big cube here. So the volume here is 8, the volume here is 1, so the scale factor is 8. Give from here to there you times by 8. Okay, uh, Or you can write 8 as 2 cubed. So that basically completes this idea that the scale factor between the lengths was 2, the areas was 2 squared, and the scale factor between the volumes was 2 cubed. And it's a very simple relationship, isn't it? Okay, so once you know this linear scale factor, or the length scale factor, you can work out the other scale factors. So that's the basic idea. Let me just uh, reiterate that over here so you can understand what this means. The lengths, if we're talking about the lengths, if uh, the scale factor is 2, you times by 2. If you're talking about the areas, you have to times with 1 area by 2 squared instead to get 4, and the volume times by 2 cubed to get 8. Okay, so that's very simple, I hope, and too easy to un uh, very easy to understand, hopefully. And let's move on to the actual example. So, um, in this case, well, we're going to make it a tiny bit harder by not starting from the length scale factor and talking about the area scale factor first. Now, remember, everything is actually based on the length scale factor. Okay, so we have to imagine there's a special number that links the len linear scale factor to the area to the volume scale factor. Okay, so that's how I'm going to write it. K, K squared, and K cubed, where K is the actual number I want to know. But because I've got two areas, I don't have two lengths or two volumes, I've only got two areas, I have to work out the area scale factor first. So, what I say is 20 times K squared is 45. So you remember I'm trying to work out k, so I'm writing it as k squared because I know it's going to be that thing squared is this number here. Okay, so 20 times k squared is 45. So I write that here, area, when we're talking about areas, uh, 20 times k squared is 45. Now if I had to rearrange that to work out k squared, I would say k squared equals 45 over 20, very simple to do. Simplifying gives you 9 over 4, so k squared is 9 over 4. Therefore, square rooting gives you k equals 3 over 2. Square rooting top and bottom gives you that. So now I've worked out k. I've worked out the linear scale factor which I needed to work out everything really. So um, let's work out the length between these two similar houses. Okay, and the width of this is 2, so I have to times it by k, but I've worked out k is 3 over 2, so 
2 times 3 over 2 is 3. So the width of this, or length of x, is 3. I've just worked out that. Now, if I'm trying to work out the volume of this, and I know the volume of that, okay, I simply have to do 80 times k cubed is y, the volume of this object. Okay, so 80 times uh, k cubed, well, 80 times k cubed is 80 times 3 over 2 cubed. Now, if you don't know what that is, well, 3 cubed is 27, 2 cubed is 8. Okay, so if I do 27 over 8 times 80, basically cancels the 8, so you get 10 times 27 is 270. So the volume of this, or the value of y, is equal to 270, and that's it.